Before I begin, let's take a look at this photo. Any guesses for what this might be? Let me give you a small clue. We had this at least once in our lives. This is a slice of cake magnified 320 times with an electron microscope by professional food photographer Alan Alpert. This slice of cake and many others, which I have baked with my mother, did not always turn out perfectly. There are lots of different ingredients that go into the bowl and straight into the oven. Too much flour and you have a tough cake. Too little and your cake falls apart. My name is Athena and this, my friends, is what I would like to share with you. My mother introduced me to baking and over the course of years, I realized that baking is more than just throwing a bunch of ingredients together and hoping for the best. It involves preparation, hard work and a little luck, much like life itself. I've learned so many things from baking, things that I can apply in my daily life. Imagine your dish cake. You're made up of all these different ingredients just like a cake. Each of these ingredients play a part in creating you. With the wrong type of flour, your cake may be too tough or might sink. But with the right type of flour, your cake will rise, you will rise. Next, then there's cook, unsweetened cocoa powder that's bitter, just like the problems we face. It may bring us down sometimes and make us feel sad. So to balance that, we have sugar. Sugar raises all our sweet moments in our lives that give us happiness. It's important to balance the bitter with the sweet when our life is all rounded. Next, there's the salt. Throwing salt over the shoulders supposedly reverses bad luck and we all need some good luck in our lives. Lastly, there's the butter that blinds us all together and that's love. Without love, our ingredients remain separate. Love brings together all the different bits of us and makes everything better. So if all this we still don't have a cake, to change the ingredients into an extra cake, we need some heat. Here allows us to expand, to change from liquid to solid. It makes us firm, it makes us transform. When my mother taught me to bake, she taught me more than just baking. She taught me that we can change different aspects in our lives and that we are always evolving, always learning. Indeed, it may not be a success every time I try different things, yet learning from failures makes the success sweeter. Sharing the big goods with each other is also a very rewarding sense of achievement. I hope that today I've inspired you to make your own cake. I eat it too, thank you.